hi and welcome to my channel inspiration from a Greek diva today we are going to be doing a mermaid teal aqua eye color and um, we're just gonna get right into it so I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face with Tarte's um, mermaid skin this is a hyaluronic um, type of uh, moisturizer and it just really 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 gives your skin um, that extra um, moisture it's kind of like a serum um, but it's like when your face needs that extra moisture um, you want to go ahead and use that um, I'm going to use just a little bit of the H2O moisturizer um, just right on top of my eyes and whatever is left over I'm just gonna rub it in okay so um, what I'm gonna do is start with the primer um, I'm going to use the Benefit uh, pore professional pore primer um, this will minimize your pores and kind of blur out any lines that um, you might have going on in your skin it smells so good super smooth very silky um, it just feels like um, kind of like silk on your face um, so yeah, the next thing I'm going to use today is going to be the Found Clear Foundation. This is a little bit more of the tan neutral color. Um, since I've been tanning, I'm going to be using this color. Um, I'm just going to kind of apply it um, with my fingers. Sometimes I just want to get all in there. Um kind of blend it I don't use too much um, however um, this is more of the medium type of coverage um, it's not a super thick coverage but you can see this color is definitely blending better with my skin Okay, great. So now I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer at the time. This is Tarte's um, Creaseless Concealer. Um, this color is a medium neutral. So it's going to be a little lighter, which is fine. It's going to brighten up some of that skin. Um, it's going to brighten up my under eyes and kind of cover... Anything that's kind of being red right now. My skin feels so soft. I love these products. Tarte's products are completely vegan, cruelty free, and they're just really nice. Um, the, a lot of them are made with Amazonian clay, so it's really like earthy and good products for your face. Um, so now that the concealer's on, um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and set my powder. Um, set my face with powder, sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna use the Ciate London. It is a translucent powder. Currently, the only one that I have right now, I don't have too many powders. I typically don't wear a lot of uh, foundation and stuff, but it's a nice to have a nice, you know, setting powder. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is use my favorite bronzer of all time. This is the MAC um, in a refined golden. 
I love, love, love this color. Um, I'm just going to use just a normal um, foundation brush. I'm just kind of go along my face and to my neck. You can avoid your skin um, center of your face if you are more of a contouring kind of girl. I am not. I kind of like the bronzer look. I think it's really fun to be super tan in the summer. Um, so now that we got that on, um, I'm just going to go in with a um, eyebrow brush. Kind of tame my wild brows. Um, normally I just get my eyebrows waxed. I don't t typically use brow products. Um, so that's just me. You're more than welcome to fill in your brows if you have like really light brows or anything. Um, so yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is grab a blush. Um, her Woo! Yeah, sometimes the camera just falls over. Anyway, <laughs> so... I'm going to use the Tarte Pro Glow palette with all my blushes and um, I'm going to go in with just a light blush today. Um, it's more of like a peachy color. And then I do start at my cheeks and then kind of go towards the side of my face. And then right on top, if you've been watching some of my videos, you know I am currently obsessed with a few things. Um, definitely the Fenty Beauty highlighter. Um, but I just discovered this Urban Decay uh, Naked Illuminated. It is so, 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 so sparkly. This is the color Aura. And, um, it's really, really pretty. I am, like, kind of loving this, um, because I love rose gold. Um, uh, you'll see, if you watch my other videos, you'll see the, um, like, tutu videos that I make. And, um, the tutus are rose gold lace and cream, and I'm kind of obsessed with rose gold. So, um, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, whoa! Um, but yeah, you can see the pretty 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 shine um it's a really good highlighter mm, yeah love it um so yeah now I am going to um before I do my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip gloss um I am going to be using Katy Perry um uh, which one it's by CoverGirl this is what color is this Oh, I don't know what color this is, but it's kind of like a pinky, purpley color. And it's going to look really, really fun with the eyes that we're going to do. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Okay. So, the um, next thing I'm going to do is get the eye primer. Um, this is the Urban Decay <coughs> Primer Potion. Um, you always want to use um, an eyeshadow primer before you put your um, eyeshadow on. Um, now, if you're just going to use a foundation, that's fine too. Um, just as long as you got something smooth for your eyeshadow to sit on top of okay so I'm going to grab we're gonna get a little crazy today I'm gonna grab the Riviera palette and a fluffy brush Okay, this is the Moda Pro brush. And I'm going to mix the white. Up here it's called the Sails. 
and the estate. So these two colors. I'm just going to dab both of them and then just kind of put them on. Because I don't really want all white, but I don't really want too peachy of a color. So I'm just going to mix them together. Okay, so that's that. I discovered um, this mermaid palette last year. This is the Tarte mermaid palette. It looks really great with my earrings, doesn't it? Um, and there is like a really cool color called Splash down here. Um, so if you have this palette, definitely that is a good color to use. Um, but what I'm actually going to use, um, is going to be the Huda Beauty. This is the Emerald Obsessions. There is a color right in the center. Um, and it looks more like greenish teal. Um, but I think it's going to look really great with the earrings. So I'm going to grab just a little brush. Um, this is an e.l.f. crease brush. And you're just going to load it up with some color. And you're just going to go in there and cover your entire bottom part of the lid. I'm going to pack it in there because it's a really fun greenish teal color and it's so pretty oh my gosh this color is so pretty I love a good teal Pack it in there. Okay. So, um, what you're going to want to do now is grab like an angled brush. Um, kind of like this one. And um, use the same color. And you're just going to kind of do under your eye. Um, in the summer, I try not to use a lot of eyeliner. Just because it could possibly run if it's not like a waterproof one. And I'm not a huge fan of using a lot of waterproof products. Um, I will, but I don't want to use a lot of it. But like if you put the teal underneath your eye, it's really like a nice pop of color. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Okay, so... The next thing you're going to want to do is grab like, um, just like a blending brush. I have a nice one from Sephora. It's just a nice blending brush. And there's this color in this palette and it's kind of like a yellowy, um, like minty kind of color. Um, we're just going to grab that and then you're just going to take it in between, um, the peach and then... Um, the peach and the teal and you're just kind of diffuse that line 
And this one has like a little bit of glitter chunks to it. Um, so it's kind of leaving like a little trail of glitter chunks. Okay, so um, I am actually going to top this um, with a little bit of extra bling just because my earrings have like some more sparkle. So we're just going to sparkle it up. Um, if you have not tried any of Rihanna's Fenty highlighters, you need to just run to Sephora and get them. Okay, this is the Fenty Beauty. This is the um, How Many Carrots. This is the Diamond Bomb. It is just like, whoa, whoa, do you see the sparkle? Whoa. Um, it's pretty much glitter, sparkle, shiny. Oh my gosh, so fun. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of dust that brush off. But get in there with a nice blending brush. Get some glitter on there. And you're just going to go on top of all of it and just kind of pack in the glitter. It just kind of adds a little bit more sparkle to your look. Just make sure it's nice and blended. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is grab your um, eyelash brush. Or what am I talking about? Your eyelash curler. My mind's all over the place. And then just curl those lashes. Um, you can always throw a pair of falsies on. I typically don't wear them all the time. I will if I'm going out, but... <sighs> Not like for a normal summer day. Um, but what I'm going to use is just my mascara. This is the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. One of my favorite mascaras I'm using. And I like that... My eyes do not water when I'm wearing this. And it makes my eyelashes look so pretty. It doesn't get clumpy or anything. Okay, so sometimes you might have some fallout. You can always just um, grab like a brush or something and just kind of dust, dust it away. Okay, so I'm going to, the last thing I'm going to do is grab my little angled brush. Whoa, dropping things. Where'd it go? Found it. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild. It's just like a tiny little um, angled brush. And I'm going to grab that Anastasia palette. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of the white. And just kind of put it right in the corner. Then, you're going to grab the Fenty Beauty glitter. Oh, yeah. And then you're just going to get some of that. 
glitter on there. Just kind of put it on top. It's like extra sparkle. There you go. All right. So the very last thing that I'm going to do is just set my face with um, the Tarte Setting Spray. Ooh. That kind of just completes the look. So I hope you love this little mermaid vibe summer teal look that I'm going on here with. Um, if you did like this video and you want to try this uh, look, please give it a thumbs up and put your comments below. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And always remember to be a diva.